Dhammapada, verse 1, Chaku Pala Terra Vatu Mano Kobangama Dhamma Mano Seta Mano Maya Manasa Che Adutena Basati Wakorotiwa Tato Nam Tukamanveti Chakamva Vahato Adam Verse 1 All mental phenomena have mind as their forerunner. They have mind as their chief. They are mind made. If one speaks or acts with an evil mind, Dukkha follows him just as the wheel follows the hoof print of the ox that draws the cart. Explanation Mano Pugangama Dhamma All mental phenomena have mind as their forerunner in the sense that mind is the most dominant and it is the cause of the other three mental phenomena namely feeling, vedana, perception, sanya and mental formations or mental concomitants, sankara. These three have mind or consciousness, vinyana, as their forerunner because they are, although they are arise simultaneously with mind. They cannot arise if mind does not arise from the commentary. 2. Manasa Che Padutena, verse 1, and Manasi Che Pasanyena, verse 2. Manasa here means intention or volition, Chetana. Volition leads one to the performance of volitional actions, both good and evil. This volition and the resultant actions constitute karma, and karma always follows one to produce results. Chakrapala's blindness, verse 1, was the consequence of his having acted with an evil intention in a previous existence, and Mata Kundali's happy existence in Tavatimsa, celestial world, verse 2, was the result of his mental devotion, Manopasada, to the Buddha. The story of Chakupala, while residing at the Jetavana monastery in Savati, the Buddha uttered verse 1 of this book with reference to Chakupala, a blind terror, monk. On one occasion, Tara Chakupala came to pay homage to the Buddha at the Jetavana monastery. One night, while pacing up and down in meditation, the Tara accidentally stepped on some insects. In the morning, some bhikkhus visiting the Tara found the dead insects. They thought ill of the Tara and reported the matter to the Buddha. The Buddha asked them whether they had seen the terror killing the insects. When they answered in the negative, the Buddha said, Just as you had not seen him killing, so also he had not seen those living insects. Besides, as the terror had already attained arahatship, he could have no intention of killing, and so was quite innocent. On being asked why Chakupala was blind, although he was an arahant, the Buddha told the following story. Chakupala was a physician in one of his past existences. Once he had deliberately made a woman patient blind. That woman had promised him to become his servant together with her children. If her eyes were completely cured. Fearing that she and her children would have to become servants, she lied to the physician. She told him that her eyes were getting worse, when in fact they were perfectly cured. The physician knew she was deceiving him. So in revenge, 
he gave her another ointment, which made her totally blind. As a result of this evil deed, the physician lost his eyesight many times in his later existences. Then the Buddha spoke in verse as follows, All mental phenomena have mind as their forerunner, they have mind as their chief. They are mind made. If one speaks or acts with an evil mind, Dukkha follows him just as the wheel follows the hoofprint of the ox that draws the cart. And at the end of the discourse, many bhikkhus attained their together with analytical insight, Patisambhida.